Hey, brothers and sisters, soldiers and warriors. This is your sister, Fire. I hope you all are doing well and are in good graces and in good health, my brothers and sisters. So today's message is kind of piggybacking off of yesterday's message. So yesterday's message, or one of them, was about, um, you know, it's okay to be different. And so today, um, I want to talk about how there is power in your individuality. Yes, there is power in your individuality. And I'm going to kind of break it down on what I mean by this, my brothers and sisters. See, you, you got some people who may be goofy. I know I'm a little bit goofy. <laughs> I know that. You got some people who may be um, a little bit serious at times. Um, and it's okay to be serious at times, my brothers and sisters, because a serious person um, usually, you know, cuts to the chase and is able to accomplish things. So, you know, seriousness um, is good in, in certain um, circumstances goodness, certain circumstances. <laughs> um, then you may have someone um, who may be a good listener. Okay. So you got, you know, someone who's kind of goofy, um, someone who is a good listener, and then someone um, who is serious at times, um, at the right times, of course. And of course, we are talking about your individuality in Christ, okay? Because you can have, you know, characteristics um, that Satan, you know, of, of the underworld, okay, um, of unclean spirits. But I'm talking about there's power in your individuality of Christ, that Christ created you to be, my brothers and sisters, and so where this power comes in at, or one of the areas where this power comes in at, because you know we are all a part of the body of Christ, fivefold ministries. We all come together and we powerful, okay? We become one. And so um, where this power um, comes in at is, let's say, you know, there's an individual um, who may be going through something and you are gifted in the area of listening. God has gifted you, you know, with the, uh, power to listen and listen well, you know, when someone is, you know, needs to talk to you when someone needs to vent. Okay. Boom. There it is. You have just, you know, you may not even realize that just by you listening to a certain individual, how you made their day, how you blessed them, my brothers and sisters. And the same thing goes on with the other um, two gifts and characteristics of a certain individual. Um, there may be another instance where you and another friend may be out and about you see someone crying, it might be somebody you know, and your friend is gifted with, you know, that go goofiness. They know how to joke. They're a good jokester, you know, in a good way, of course. Excuse me. And so they're able to, you know, be goofy, joke around and lift, you know, that friend up, that other individual who was crying. Next thing you know, now that person is no longer crying. They're laughing. So see what I'm saying? And the same thing goes on with many different uh, gifts that God has given us. Um, many different characteristics that God has gifted us with. And so that's where the power comes in at. And so, you know, it's okay for us to be different because that's how God has created it to be. 
He did not want all of us to be the same. Remember Babylon and how everybody was speaking the same language and God had to break it up and, you know, separate everybody and, and, um, you know, give them different languages or give us different languages. Yes, my brothers and sisters, because every one of us play a part uh, in the body of Christ. So, you know, we have the body. We have the head. That's Jesus. We have the arms. We have the legs. You see what I'm saying? So with all of those members of the body, it makes up the entire body, the whole body, which is power, my brothers and sisters. So yes or no, <laughs> we weren't all made to be the same. And that's okay. It's okay to be different, my brothers and sisters. Because your individuality is something that only you can be. And you possess gifts that only you can do. You possess skills that only you can do. Because God gifted you with that. He blessed only you with that. And it's okay. It's also a beautiful thing. So when we all come together, we make one. One body, my brothers and sisters. So no, you know, God didn't want all us, all of us to be the same. He wanted all of us to be different and have our own individual, sorry, individuality in Christ for the kingdom of God. Because where I may be able to touch an individual, you may not be able to touch that individual in that area, but in an area where you may be able to reach an individual, I may not be able to reach an individual in that same area. And as being a YouTuber, you know, we see that all the time. If you really pay attention, how certain individuals will cleave to, you know, a certain YouTuber. And then there's other YouTubers that certain other, certain other individuals cleave to. And that's because we all have our own individuality. And I keep messing that word up, y'all. I'm so sorry. But we all have our own individuality, okay? And there are certain people that are assigned to a specific person. There are certain souls that are assigned to a specific person. And only you, that specific person, can reach these particular souls, only you can touch these particular souls. And so that's why it's so important to not want to be someone else, but be yourself. Because when you are being yourself, you are in your own lane and you are able to reach those who God has for you to reach. But if you are being someone else or trying to be someone else, um, rather, um, then you're out of your lane, you're out of alignment, with God, and now you're not able to reach those who God has for you to reach. So I just want to, you know, I guess, what's the word? I guess it's like uh, inspire you all or encourage you all, um, you know, letting you know that you are, you know, uh, special. You are supposed to be um, an individual, okay? And if you are a little bit different from others, that is okay. And that's how it's supposed to be. That's how God has created us to be, my brothers and sisters. And you'll be able to reach, um, I hear a lot of y'all say your tribe. That's how you're going to be able to reach your tribe. Or some of y'all out here say soul family. That's how you're going to be able to reach your soul family, a.k.a. tribe, being who God created you to be, which is just you. Simply that, just you. I know a lot of times society, you know, with all these advertisements and everything, um, they, it kind of, 
seems like society wants every woman to be a certain way, a certain shape, okay? A man to be a certain way, a certain height, okay? And that's just not realistic, okay? That's just not realistic. We were all created to be different. We were all created to have our own individuality. And when we walk in that, we are walking in true power, my brothers and sisters. There is power in individuality. So with that being said, I love you all. This is your sister Fire. Until next time.